Yo, we're going to talk about real estate again. You know what I'm saying? Look here. This is one thing that people, even the gurus or the big people in real estate, they tend to leave out. Whether you invest in, in real estate or you actually buying and living in your primary residence. This is the one small thing that people always keep out of the videos. And so after you purchase a property, it could be two months, it could be four or five, eight, ten months down the line. But the escrow tends to go up. And in essence, it affects how much money you pay for your mortgage. So you may have went to an agent and y'all found the perfect house for yourself and your family. And then you say, this is my budget. This is what I can spend every month for a home. And let's say that number is like 1500 bucks. But then you close on the house, everything's good. Your first couple payments are 1500 bucks. But then, you know, around month six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, you get a new mortgage that says 1900 bucks. And you're like, whoa, what happened? The escrow went up. The escrow is basically, it's, it's like set aside to pay the taxes for the property. And if your escrow go, goes up, it basically means that the property value has went up on the house. You know what I'm saying? So, and this happens in a lot of cases when you buy property because nobody was living in it for a while or whatever the case may be. And so it was at a certain like flat rate or whatever the case. And then you move in it, it adds value because you're gonna pay the property tax, supposedly. And so, this, this unexpected bill, as far as becoming a homeowner, is really shocking. So, for all my people out there who are about to buy a property or thinking about buying a property, keep in mind that your bill, your mortgage payment, may go up. Now, however, your mortgage payment can go down. In the same token, both of my properties in VA, I've had the escrow go down, meaning that the property tax went down. And so they actually sent me a check a couple of times for a few hundred bucks because it's overpaid in the escrow throughout the year at one point. And other points, my mortgage actually goes down um, because the property, the, the property taxes went down. And for my property that I still have in VA, the property tax next year is actually going up. I got a letter already saying for next year, 2020, the, the property value has went up. And so therefore my escrow is gonna go up, which means what? My mortgage payment is gonna go up. So I already know that for me, a lot of people who get into real estate or just buying homes, like I said before, they don't even, mention that they don't even understand that and it, it you don't get it until you get it <laughs> and that mean gets it in the mail you're like man i wasn't expecting this but escrow man escrow can change your whole budget you know what i'm saying so um keep that in mind so i would say you know if you plan on making a monthly budget for your um home your mortgage of you know fifteen hundred dollars you know, and it varies. It might not be, it might not go up 500. It might not go up 200. It might only go up 75 bucks. But you need to make sure that you have a buffer for when your escrow goes up.